Bring us home, All right. brother. Okay. Remember, Rob, we have to talk about the benefits of effing culture, how to get that past HR. We got we to <laughs> talk about that offline. Over a glass of wine and a cigar. Um, but my question is, please tell your heart attack story. I didn't realize that you really had a heart attack. And tell the funny version of it, please. And that would be a good way to end. Oh, I don't know. I, I, um, I don't make my last Ironman, and I'm weak. And I know I'm going backwards in my CrossFit workouts. And I just come home and have a heart attack. And I go, well, shoot. So I wake up, <laughs> I wake up one morning in bed, and I, I go, there's a kettlebell sitting on my chest. This left arm feels like it's dead. And so I say to my wife, I say, hey, wife, guess what? She goes, what? I said, I'm having a heart attack. She goes, no. I go, yeah. She goes, I said, but relax, relax. And she goes, oh, no. And I go, relax. I don't need any negativity here. This will be a nice day. Don't, don't freak on me. So I say, call the insurance, call the doc. Let's go have a heart attack. So um, I get out of bed and I get in the shower and shave. Well, this would be a nice day to have a heart attack. And so she <laughs> freaking out of the phone. And I say, okay, let's go. So we get in the car and she drives me to the hospital and I get out of the car and I walk in and they say, hi, can we help you? I said, yeah, I'm having a heart attack. And the, you know, the, the nice little 22 year old sitting at the desk making 15 bucks an hour. <laughs> she goes, uh-uh, you're not having a heart attack. I'm having a heart attack. I need you to get me that wheelchair. I need to sit down. She goes, you look too good to be having a heart attack. I said, doesn't matter what I look like. Give me the stinking chair. I'm having a heart attack. So she talks with her friend and they're both on their phones <laughs> at the front desk, you know, doing some phone thing. I go, I'm having a heart attack. And they go, all right. They push some button and some guy comes out, you know. <laughs> and so I say, hi. And they go, hi. What's your deal? I said, I'm having a heart attack. He goes, you are? I said, yeah, no problem. I'm having a heart attack. Just take me in the back, put me on the table back there, hook me up, and we'll be fine. He goes, you don't look like I have a heart attack. I said, I don't give a rip what I look like. Take me in the back. I'm having a heart attack. And so my wife's going, he's having a heart attack. So she has to stay out in the front. So they wheel me back. And they put me on this bed, right? And so it's emergency room kind of bed thing. And I'm laying there and they come in, they go, what's wrong with you? And the, the, the doc on call says, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm having a heart attack. He goes, well, why? I said, well, I got a kettlebell sitting on my chest. It's dead left arm, it's pulsating, and uh, it's a heart attack. I'm paramedic, you know, I do this for a living like you. Okay, so it gives me EKG, you're not having a heart attack. I said, dude, I'm having a heart attack. He goes, I said, take my blood. Because when you, have, I told Kevin, but when you when you have a heart attack, there's a chemical that's released in your body that's only released if you're having a heart attack. So take my blood. I'm laying on this table for an hour, right? <laughs> they have a, a wannabe fireman in there practicing IVs. So he comes to me and I go, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I'm, you know, the fireman training." I said, "Great, you want to stick me?" He goes, "Yeah." I, I said, "21 or 23? What are you sitting me? I'm giving you 21. All right, this is where you want it. This is the best pain." So he misses the pain. The blood goes all over the place. And I go, this is a wild thing. I'm having a heart attack. I'm trying to coach a guy how to stick me to a needle, trying to convince these people. So finally, I, the guy comes back. He goes, you're having a heart attack. And the lights and sirens and stuff go, duh. And so I, I say, now wheel me in there and do what you're going to do. But don't knock me out. I want to watch the whole thing. So they wheel me and put me, put me on the bed, you know. And there's a big... Big TV screen right there on the side of my head. This guy lays this like a piano accordion thing on my right leg. And he gets there and he starts playing this mechanical thing, you know, and I'm watching on the screen. All of a sudden this thing goes up. I see it going to my heart. Then they give me one stint. They give me two stints. They give me three stints. I said, check that out. It gets purple and purple and purple. And I go, bada bing, I got that thing back. Huh? They go, yeah, it's opened up. I said, well, that's, that's a good thing. Thank you very much. So take me out, I go up to the room. The doc comes in the room and says, can I ask you a question? I said, what? He says, your artery blew up like too much air on a bicycle tire. What did you do? And I just started laughing. I was thinking, which one? Was it the Iron Man? Was it the 777? Was it the, was it the 50 hour Navy SEAL thing? Beats me. He says, you blew your, your valve. We don't have them just pop like that. I said, it's all right. He said, you're, you're gonna be good to go. Got three stents. I said, thank you very much. Three days later, I was on the treadmill. I did a half marathon, I don't know, three weeks later. You know, I said, engine's back, ready to go. Let's go. And my wife all the time is going, this is terrible. I said, no, no negativity allowed. 
Everything's got to be positive. We're going to find a way to win in it. It's another adventure. Relax. If you, if you can't be excited and happy with me, you go be in another room. <laughs> and so anyway, life is that way and you find a way to win. Don't well, knock me that, out. I want to see this. That's the best line. Don't knock me out. I want to see the whole thing. That is the uh, that is the proverbial.